Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video, at last, going to show off the hot toys in their full glory. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone, so here's a quick sort of glimpse at all the hot toys together. I should go into a, a closer look at each one in a minute. But yeah, I sort of explain, I uh, rearranged the room had quite a lot of different stuff in my detox had all my vintage figures and other bits of different collections so I rearranged the room put all the detox together to one side of the wall in the bedroom and I put a few lights at the top of each uh, detox now but yeah I'm really happy the way it's turned out and I've sort of rearranged all the hot toys now to sort of pair them up and the way I'm happy at first I just had them all in there and now I've moved them around spaced them around give me some more extra room actually didn't realize when you space them out and decide where to put them next to each other you could, they look better looks a lot better so what I'm gonna do now is we'll take a look at each detoff okay in my first detoff I have my two Jedi's together <laughs> so you have Liam Neeson Qui-Gon Jinn absolutely amazing hot toy this got it really cheap at Sandown Toy Fair what a bargain. Thanks to my mate Julian, we did a, did a bit of bargaining and got this for about 170. It was used, but it looks so good. And uh, this one's going for a bit more now, going up in price now. I don't know if we're ever seeing another Qui-Gon Jim, but it's an awesome figure. One of the first Jedi, sort of one of the face, real face sculpts I actually got. I love it, absolutely love it. And the cloth's a little bit worn and actually it's a little bit kind of battle ready and then we go to Ahsoka I think this is great you get that lovely stand with it so you can actually pose her. a lot of people have their sort of the lightsabers in her hand ignited I've got one connected and one sort of ready to go you've got to be careful with the actual arms on this because the uh, you look the arms you the way you pose them they've got like real and you know they've got the real flesh like so people are worried that if you get them in that real bad pose it's gonna start to crack or damage it but these look so good and I like it with this and now we've got the white Ahsoka now <laughs> and they're re-releasing the figure they've actually changed the face sculpt I quite like it it's a mixture of the cartoon and the, the real sort of uh, real live TV yeah two Jedi's Okay, next we have General Grievous. This is more a sideshow than a hot toy. This is the second release. People thought there was this was going to get vastly improved because the joints are pretty fragile. It's a very fiddly hot toy, but I'm pretty happy with it. I got it in a pose I'm happy with. You need the stand to hold this up. You're never going to get it to stand, I don't think, without that stand. I mean, there's one thing I do. I like to keep all my stands with my figures just keep them up right but yeah this is such a cool looking figure get a lightsaber all the lightsabers are in his pockets there in the back you get extra lightsabers I've got one there just out all the arms separate you've got the green in there you've got this real organic thing I did a bit of a mod to it as you can see look at the eyes look at the eyes I'm gonna bring the light closer look at I did a really good mod with this. This piece actually comes off, it's magnetic. Um, what they did is they painted a gold strip in the back with black lines down it. It just didn't look right. And I thought, I think I can do something with these. So I bought on eBay some lizard glass eyes, tiny little six millimeter lizard cat, they're called. But look at when the light hits it and look more real doesn't it look like there's something organic behind the metal really simple mod all it was just a bit of gold with a black strip down it so that was a real letdown i just had to break it off and then glue these in that was the fun bit trying to glue these in and get those lines going down the eye so uh but i'm really chuffed how they look now they're really cool it's a great great looking figure when you eventually get him to pose but god he's so delicate Okay, next we have the shock troopers. So we've got my Wrench of the Sith shock trooper and the Battlefront shock trooper. This was the first hot toy I ever bought. I got this one for a good price. 
he was like 180 averaging most of the time but now he's he's starting to shoot up in price a little bit now but yeah i do like the uh, the red and the white battle damage this is another one i picked up i think this one i picked this one echo live yeah shock trooper my only stormtrooper i would like to get a stormtrooper all in white it's nice isn't it got the backpack on the back as well from the sand trooper kind of definitely based on the uh, computer game my next bargain of the <laughs> i get lots of bargains i do with these i really do hunt for my hot toys and try to get a good deal but this was like one 150 i think it was yeah it was pre-owned but it's a brilliant piece. Poor old Lando doesn't get much love, but I think he looks great in this. Face sculpt on this is absolutely amazing. Look at that, look at a little twinkle in his eyes. He's smiling. <laughs> great. That cape is a little bit big. It's a little bit, it's hard to, I got it as best I can, but it looks good. You can take it off and have him just holding a gun if you want, like running down a corridor. But as you can see, he's got his little comm thing there on his wrist. So I've done that. I just think this looks really good. You've got to show this off, haven't you? You can't just, wow, you've got to just see a hint of it. It looks absolutely amazing. You can get it. You look at it. Look at it. So, yeah. It's going to take me an hour now to reposition it. <laughs> but it's awesome. Absolutely awesome piece. I would have liked to get Lando Skiff Guard, but it was, I can't have too many of the same character. So this, this is the choice for me i like this one it's just a good face sculpt on it okay next i've got my mandos together here so i've got the original mando i wanted the original one everyone's gone mad for the best car sort of mando but i wanted the very first mando appearance the first episode it's kind of crucial in it i wanted to and it just had that cool stormtrooper helmet going through the pike all dirtied up she's got his tracker there gun with big gun some people say some people say the helmet's a different size it is being resized i think for the newer baskar i just like it and you've got a little bit of baskar there on him so i'll put the other piece of shoulder armor on these all some of these drop out magnets on the back yeah just like it i really do like it this one's a fairly cheap one still is about 170 200 you maybe get a bit around that Oh, Bo-Katan. I was really hard. The first time I had had it on the stand, I did have the helmet on, you know, swapped it over. But no, I just like this pose. But if I do pick up a Moff Gideon, I'm thinking about putting the old dark saber. Maybe swapping it and putting the dark saber in. But yeah, look at the detail on this. Great, isn't it? Such a cool figure. I do like her. Really cool character. Okay, next up we have the three main heroes of Star Wars. <laughs> oh, can't say that. Yeah, look at that. Just standing off here. We've got Luke in the Hoff gear. Oh, I just love this. Snow Speeder, Hoff gear, Dagobah. I just love this. So you've got so many variations with this. You can have him holding the lightsaber, gun tucked away. You can have the helmet off and you put the hair back on. But I just, this is such a, a brilliant sculpt and it's so really, really just pops this orange and the weathering on it. So good. I held out to get this one. I was really hard. Which Luke am I going to get? I had to get this one. I know I like to get a Jedi Luke from um, uh, Return of the Jedi because it's my favourite, but this is so cool. And next. Han Solo, I love this Han Solo, look, leather jacket, Force Awakens, Han Solo, see a lot of people don't like the sequels, oh, I think they're great, I just think this is a really good sculpt, really good, don't like seeing that older Harrison Ford, but look at that, love it, That's such a cool thing, and of course you could get another version, there's a blue, there's like a blue jacket as well that comes with this, you know, the one he goes out in the snow with, I have forward about taking this off maybe eventually and then swapping it over I'm gonna slide this over a little bit here she is <laughs> I think this is my is this my second hot toy yeah 
Had to be, didn't it? Leia had to be the second hot toy. <laughs> it's such a cool, cool figure. She's very dainty. Lovely little boots. There's wire in all this. Right at the bottom, there's wire, so you can actually give it some sort of action pose. And of course, you can take this off, and there's a general jacket underneath. But I like this pose the best. We can get the light in here. There we go, get the face. Such a brilliant face. Of course, the head comes off, helmet comes off, then you put a wig back on. That clever idea of these hot toys, they make it so you can just put things on because if she had the real hair on, the helmet wouldn't get on with it. Such a great sculpt. I love it. There you go, my three heroes. I've got them. <laughs> okay, next we have the three troopers together. I like these. So, of course, this is the Mud Trooper Han Solo. But I love it. I love it looking at it. It's so sort of steampunky, isn't it? This helmet. Very, it's just World War Two. Very World War One. But yeah, there is a Han Solo face under there. But I just do like this look. Such a cool figure. I love the olive green. It's like the transport trooper. I'd not bought the transport trooper because it's very simple. Same to this. Except for it's got a different head, and um, it's put me off slightly buying it because it's nearly exactly the same as this. You only get a little blaster with it, which I think is a shame. The transport trooper should have had a, a pike or something. You know when he fights those aliens on top of the transport? Should have had that. And we should have a Din Djarin helm head with it, but they didn't do that. And second, we have the Scarif leader. We have Scarif trooper leader. This is a very cheap one. You can get this for like 150 yeah, not very popular the old Scarf Troopers, they're very cheap, so if you want to get yourself a, a starter trooper, these are the ones to get, but I love them, I think they're great, it's one of my favourite armours, if I was going to read costume again, I think I'd definitely be looking at the Scarf Trooper. <laughs> okay, look at this, I've got them in a cool pose, look at that, That's such a good pose. Tank Commander. Very cool. I love just all this universal armor they use with this. I love these shin armor, cloth trousers. Just love that helmet. That's why I'm not off, not sure about buying the transport trooper because it's the same helmet. I'm not sure, but yeah. Let's just look at it. What about, that's a cool action. I love that pose. Okay, at the bottom of the cabinet. All on his lonesome, the Sith Trooper from the Rise of Skywalker. I think this is absolutely amazing. I love it. You can't really see it, but when you really go close into it, you can see all the like all the lines and the ridges on it, detail on it. It's great on this helmet. There's loads of ridges. Look at that. I think this is a great looking trooper. I got this one for 140. It's an absolute bargain. This was another one I picked up at Echo Live. Really cool looking figure. I like it. They did think hardly any time in the film, did they? Shame. It's always the coolest things never get much show in the it's like the red guards that are in Rise of Skywalker right at the end. You see them in the background. But we never really had a figure, have we, or anything of them, which oh, they needed more airtime, those those guards. But this Sith Trooper is absolutely cool. So eventually, maybe. I like to pair this up with something, <laughs> a Kylo or something, I don't know, we'll wait and see. I thought I'd take a look at the big guy at the top here, I always forget him, he's not in the cabinet. He's my Mandalorian speeder, bike and bike escape. I do like it. So you've got the flexible rod there, you can tilt him to one side or the other. I've got a few bike escapes up here, so I've got the vintage one, black series one. Do like this the weathering on it's absolutely awesome you got the shoulder <laughs> got the knee pads are upside down which they should be on the mandalorian and they're the other way in return of the jedi it's all weathered you can buy this guy on his own i think he looks absolutely awesome one of the coolest uh, troopers always one of the most comfortable Troopers actually to wear. When I used to do costuming, I had this as a costume return that I want. It is so comfortable. You can sit down in it, you can go upstairs in it. It's just so easy to walk around in it. 
can see why so many people wear this costume and your lid fall and your lid bends up so you can have a drink quickly and then put your lid back down such a good thing such a good thing but yeah such an awesome piece this was a bargain as well i can't remember how much I, it was it was less than it was less than what it was retailing for anyway but awesome piece Hey, we have the clones next my three three favorite clones <laughs> these are all sideshow they're not hot toy ones these were like the earlier release the military sideshow whatever they called it but these are such cool figures three i've always wanted now i previously when i used to collect i had cody and a stormtrooper on display and i can't remember if i had a bligh i can't remember now but i had cody and when I started collecting these, that, that was my aim, was to get Cody back. I always wanted to get him back. I should never have sold this figure, and I'm glad I got it back. And I got him for a fairly good price, because this is the Sideshow. And Sideshow figures, the, the inner body, the dolls, are known for getting a bit loose. So, but this, see, got them all posed, pretty cool. So, yeah, my Commander Cody with the Order 66 hologram. And he's got a jetpack on the back, just such a cool, cool figure. And then we've got the Lieutenant clones. We've got the Mark One clone. I love the weathering on this. I love it, it's matte armor. I love the clones have got matte armor, not gloss armor like the Stormtroopers. So people say they don't look right. They do, that's how they were done. Matte armor. Looks so good. And then of course, Commander Gree, my favorite one. This, look at the, look at the painting on this. I love the green visor. So that is actually silver. Sometimes you see this helmet white. It's not. It's actually silver and white. Look at all the different camo. It's such a cool, cool figure. Yeah, if I was going to do a clone trooper in a costume, I'd do this guy. <laughs> so cool. He's got a backpack on the back. And there's a... We can see on the back here a little extra detail. He's got an, an antenna as well. He's got quite an interesting back to him. So we'll turn it around. Yeah. So he's got a double thermal detonators it's got a big comm system on the back aerial so that is very delicate <laughs> but yeah it's got this weird little pouch on the side just love it and of course the original uh, webbing undersuit and it actually is a cloth web undersuit not like the sort of the newer force awakens where it's more of a rubber these are a lot easier to pose Okay, I thought I put my two aliens together. <laughs> so this was a uh, this year. I think I've got Cad Bane, absolutely awesome. People say he's very bland. I know he's in all in brown, but the blue just jumps out of you. And you get three different faces. I've gone with this sort of more. And you can get the one with his mouth's open. He looks really. This is kind of introducing himself. How you do? How are you doing? I do love a western, and uh, I was really hoping to get. The Clint Eastwood uh, sideshow, uh, good, the bad, the ugly figure, and I've still not picked it up. But this is my, st this is my standing. So I've got kind of a Western figure, and we got Toto. So this is the deluxe. You get Toto as well. He's absolutely amazing. He's on a little stand, and all his legs fold. His arms are adjustable, heads adjustable. He's so cute. It's a shame he didn't appear, but hopefully we see Cat Bane again, because I don't think he's dead. We'll see Toto. We gotta see Toto. Okay, so this is the uh, Tuscan Raider from the Mandalorian. So yes, I love this figure. So cool. All the webbing. Look at that. Different belts. So you've got this weapon. You've got the long rifle on the back. Just love this figure. Always had a thing for Tuscan Raiders. I did have a Tuscan Raider costume when I used to costume. It was very comfortable except for that head. <laughs> because when you're looking through two tubes, your eyes start to go a bit weird, go a bit cross-eyed. It, it, it was not good. I would get headaches wearing it. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, what a cool costume. Okay, we're gonna take a look at some first order troopers from the Force Awakens. I love the old snow trooper. Really cool design, very Ralph McQuarrie in this, with especially with that helmet. Love it, very simple, very smooth design. Still in very good condition. 
These snow troopers didn't get much sort of action really, did they, in the uh, in the films really. The stormtroopers did all the action. It's a shame these guys didn't get more sort of shooting and action. It's just a real, real shame. They look very cool. They're in that deleted scene, Force Awakens, where they find the, the uh, Millennium Falcon with Carlo, but yeah, they needed more, needed more scenes. But it's such a cool figure. And I got this one very cheap, less than 100, I think, because the shoulder belt was broke. It just come off, just needed some glue. And uh, some people just frightened to repair things and I just glued it and it's back to normal. Now we've got the first order TIE Fire Pilot. I love this. Look at that. Really like, really cool detail on the uh, the flight suit. Big, well, these big boots. All the different lines on it, zips. I love minis, tiny little zips. Control thing. Problem with black, all these black cost costumes, isn't it? It's just hard to see the detail. And they always look, they never look so good in the collection, but I had to get him. Such a cool figure. Okay, anyone who's watched my videos before, you've seen me do my little customs, and of course these are <laughs> these are the uh, Phantom Menace 12-inch droids that I repainted. I've just had them posing in a weird position. And this is my uh, this is not this is the uh, shampoo or bubble bath holder. It's very good to scale to the side show, but and I just painted it, kind of weathered it. And it looks it's really good it's good standing and i've done a bit of work still batteries in it yeah there we go points up <laughs> great just simple had to modify it i had to put these bits in just weathered it it just went bang it was such a good scale i think i got it for like 10 quid and it just looks great and then i think other people i know have done this as well put them next to luke it's a good standing of course this is my sideshow r5 it's great great years now they've re-released it the hot toys have re-released it this thing did store up in price and now he's going to drop down in price again because the hot toys have released a version but this is cool you, you actually you can pull the actual eye out and the motivator pops up i've got it put away at the moment so i've got him sitting on there he's waving or being mischievous like these little pit droids do but yeah i'm really happy there they came out yeah, really good Okay, next we have Darth Vader and Darth Vader. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker, Clone Wars. But yes, this is my Darth Vader Rogue One Darth Vader. And I got this for less than 200, but it was missing the box and it came as it is with the stand. That was it. And I think it was a bargain getting a cheap Darth Vader so hard. And this is sort of the Rogue One Darth Vader. He's got the point. You've got to be so careful with these suits so they don't get them too creased because this stuff is just it's got a weird effect of like starting to break up and i think you can moisturize these i thought about putting some sort of moisturizer like a leather moisturizer because you can feel certain places like oh you don't really want to touch these star faders they are prone to drying and crinkling and flaking so uh, that's the worst thing about Darth Vader. but it's such a cool looking figure I'm happy I've got you've got to get Darth Vader in your hot in your, in your hot toys collection. And of course I picked this one up recently. I've been trying to hunt him down at a good price. Look at that face sculpt. Really good. Of course he's appeared in Ahsoka in this scene, in this armor from the Clone Wars. I thought like, I had to get an Anakin. And he's been fairly cheap, this guy. He comes with a stap as well. You can buy the one with the stap. Look at the boots. Look at the boots on that. Great. But yeah, they look really good together now. Before and after, look at that. Really happy I picked them up. And I think this guy will go up in price more now because he's appeared in Ahsoka. And they're bound to re-release it, aren't they? Okay, it had to be done. I had to put father and son together. <laughs> or clone, uh, father and clone. <laughs> but yeah, they look so good together. I did have them in different cupboards, but I thought, no, I want to have them together. They look so good, but... Yeah, picked up Django recently, second hand this year. It's such a great figure. So much love for this figure. It's so good. Getting a good pose. I've got the uh, War head backpack on, not the original. So the Genosis one. 
yeah, look at those leather, look at the pouches, I just love the pad, the leather on this, this is great. And then we've got the repaint Boba Fett from The Mandalorian, I love this one. People don't like the repaint, I think, and they're not very keen on it. I love it, I think it's great. It's a mixture, in it? You've got the Tuscan clothes underneath, and the armor's just been freshly repainted. He must have a spray booth in the Slave One, he must have. And a little spray booth to touch it up. Got the backpack on there, but such a cool, got the cool belt. But the new one that's come out now, the, the, the newer Boba Fett one from the series, Book of Boba Fett, is cool looking. The nice trousers on it. But yeah, you've got to get a Boba Fett in the collection. Okay, we're nearly at the end of the tour. So we've got two more here. We've got the robots together. I want more robots. <laughs> Need to get some more droids in the collection. There's not enough of them. <laughs> Need to get a battle droid to put with Grievous. That's the point. Super battle droid. I think that might be another one that's going to be on my list. That might go with Grievous eventually. But yeah, so I've got IG-88 here. Or is it 11? <laughs> it's an IG robot, anyway. And the Mandalorian. When we saw that in that first episode, it blew my mind seeing this guy in the first episode. Just seeing him moving and walking and coming alive from what we saw in Empire Strikes Back. That's why I had to get this robot. I love it. He's such a cool robot. And of course, he came back a few more times, so we can't get rid of these guys, can you? I haven't got him on the stand because he's so tall, I have, the only way I could get him in. So I had to be careful with this guy, but he's got like, these legs are really solid. So, uh, they're not plastic, I think they're die cast or something. But the Dark Trooper. This one goes really cheap now, I think I paid a little bit more than what it goes for now. People, you can see this for like 150 on eBay. People just don't like this robot. I think he's not very easy to pose. Very chunky, you can't get a lot of arms. See that the movement on the arm there, it's really, because the chest is so big, he's not the best at getting some interesting poses out. But the head comes off the top, you can put lights in there and light up the, uh, the eyes. But I wish Hot Toys would just come up with a different way of doing that, maybe like a wire and put the batteries in the base. So you can change them easier. Put some bigger batteries in there. So the wire went down and goes through and just the better way they put these little watch batteries in the side of everything. I just don't like them too thinly. But yeah, it's a cool looking robot. And of course you can actually take this guy in a part and you can put a different top on it from the Luke Deluxe set where he's crushing it. But yeah, love it. Droids. I want more of them. And we finish off with Captain Phasma. <laughs> Sorry everyone, but this is my latest pickup recently. Just over a hundred and something I got this for. I had to get a chrome-ish figure and uh, why not get Captain Phasma? And of course it's a lady in armor. It looks very different to a guy in armor. The legs are very different. She's such a tall figure. This is as tall as Darth Vader really. When you're putting it there next to Darth Vader. But I love it. There's weathering on it. You've got weathering. See, look, pitting. That's, you know, on purpose. The gun's like a gold colour. Pitting on the hands. Look at it where it's weathered. It's great. Great figure. A lot of people don't like these figures, but I think they're great. That's appreciation for all of them, really. Star Wars, isn't it? Hopefully, maybe a first order stormtrooper next to her that'd be nice <laughs> we'll see well i hope you enjoyed my uh, little tour of my hot toy collection it's vastly growing over the past year and a bit <laughs> yes serious serious collecting now i think definitely sort of dropped a lot of other stuff i still collect my vintage collection i still buy the old black series figure when i like the one i like and see a good price i still pick them up but yeah, this is my kind of interest at the moment. I do like picking up some of the old vintage figures still occasionally. Some of that parts my interest, but these are definitely my uh, favorite thing to collect at the moment. And then you buy one, you will not stop buying. <laughs> some people I know have bought a couple and have just, that's it. But yeah, you just keep buying these, these are lovely. 
Okay, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, my Patreon, my channel members. Hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, please share it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.